The whole point about distributism is we re-enfranchise people and say, no, this is about you doing things your way, what you want. Forget the government and forget big business. Forget what they want and do things the way that you want them and bypass them altogether. Just leave them out of the whole thing. And it works in all sorts of ways. And we should always patronise small businesses and try not to, as far as possible, patronise big business. Mm. We should, as far as possible, uh, work with a system which disenfranchises big government. Now, of course, it's very difficult these days because the federal government gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Regional government gets smaller and smaller and all its power is taken away from it. And until we change the political system so that real power comes back to the people, which means at local level and regional level, states' <coughs> rights, city, city government rights... Well, ultimately, family rights. Well, ultimately, family rights. Exactly. The family is the unit of society. All of politics... All of economics should be brought closer to the family. That is an absolute. And that's what's being forgotten. The family's being forgotten. Now, all, all the changes in, in the fabric of society now is the fact that the family's being forgotten. Children are irrelevant. By the way, children, by the way, are, are the equivalent of the 21st century of the slaves of the 19th century. They have no vote. They have no voice. They're being, they're being killed at random. They're being abused at random. They, we, we're promoting a culture which dis destroys marriage that allows children to be put at the mercy of passing boyfriends and no one cares mm. about children. Mm. No one's speaking about children. So this is probably a, a, a digression of what you're trying to say. But what Grunke is trying to do is say that we don't need big media. We don't need CNN, Fox News. What we need is people talking to each other. And it, uh, one good thing about modern technology, it allows us to do that. We can talk to each other and bypass big government and big business. And that's what distributism is all about. Subsidiarity is all, all about. And that's what Grunky is all about. And that's what books are all about. Not only beer and books, good beer, but a book is ultimately a private experience between the reader and the author. Uh, drama is a little different because drama, you've got actors, you've got an audience, but books can speak so intimately to people. And books are not a corporate experience, uh, both in the sense of a corporate being a body of people and also from the modern sense of it being a corporation. So that um, with, with a book, you can still enter into an intimate communion with a man who may have been dead for a thousand years. And his ideas, which may be eternal and never-ending ideas, which are ideas that plug you into an eternal and never-ending truth.